Hi guys, welcome to day 12 of my challenge. Um, my challenge is definitely spilling into pretty much all realms of my life and one of the things that I think I struggle with the most is uh, balancing certain aspects of my business. Uh, when I first started health coaching, I pretty much um, made a lot of sacrifices of my time and my finances and my energy um, towards being able to reach and help uh, people who you know, may not have uh, financial stability or access to transportation, um, you know, means of communication other than phone, like uh, Facebook or email, computer access, things like that. Um, I really do have a pretty deep burning desire to help people and because of that I find it hard to say no. Um, it's definitely gotten me burned in the past um, in my personal life and also um, in, in my business. I've had plenty of bad experiences and I've only been in business for three years now so <laughs> um, I've definitely learned and, and grown a lot and it's still challenging to this day. Um, you know, I encounter a lot of people who reach out to me. Um, a lot of them just want to talk. They want to be heard. They want to share their story with someone that they feel comfortable with. Um, and I love that they find me to be that person, you know, but it also takes an emotional toll on me sometimes. Um, when I work with people who are really struggling and I feel like I, I, I give as much as I can and they're not ready or willing or capable of giving um, and fighting as hard as they need to and then I, and I know that they can um, and so I end up feeling a little depleted and also you know a little sad because I always see the best in people and I give people the benefit of the doubt even if my intuition tells me something different um, and that has also gotten me burned quite a few times in the past, um, you know, but I, I know and I recognize these things and um, it's probably going to be something I struggle with for a long time, but I've been getting a lot better at it and I'm working really hard because like I said, it's very difficult, um, definitely uncomfortable and um, I have seen positive uh, changes from my efforts though. You know, I noticed that um, I guess for lack of a better word, I'm a lot more selective about um, my clientele now and I don't just, you know, open up and give, give, give so much like I used to. Um, I really want to see people who are able to show themselves that they are ready and, and willing to change and willing to work their ass off because that's what it takes. I mean, you can't just expect um, miracles to happen, no matter who you work with or what program you sign up for or what kind of you know coaching you get. The changes and the efforts have to come from within yourself and you can't rely on other people. It has to be you. And so when people rely too heavily on me, you know, I in turn have to kind of turn them back on themselves. And sometimes that means um, you know, changing the way I work with that person or maybe not working with them at all. And I'm okay with that because I know that in the long run it's better for them, you know, and I want to be an honest person and I want people to understand that there's no such thing as a miracle worker, you know, there's no magic pill, there's no magic formula, uh, the magic comes from you. So if you can't bring change to your life, nobody else can do that for you. Um, and uh, going back to what I was saying about the positive changes I've been seeing is it's much more beneficial to me as well as my clients because um, I'm able to maintain clients who are, they're just, they're ass kickers. Like they, I give to them and they give to me and that's all I ask from my clients. You know, I want to see them work. I want to see them put in effort. That's all I'm asking for is to see effort. Um, and to feel like um, 
you know, we're focusing on, on positivity and progress and not getting stuck in, in old ways of thinking or old habits. Um, and because of that, it's, it's great for me because I feel a lot more encouraged and inspired instead of uh, depleted by people, you know, or sad or just like completely emotionally drained. Um, you know, lately I've been feeling really, really good about my business and the people I'm working with because I see so many positive changes and people have, you know, the best things to say about themselves and, and to say about me and it is incredibly encouraging and, and I love that. And that's the kind of energy I need to keep in my life, both my personal and business life. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm working on now. Uh, it's, it's been a, a long journey. So this is definitely not like, you know, the first time I've ever thought about this or, or been dealing with it. It's, it's kind of been a perpetual thing, but it is getting better over time. And, you know, I practice what I preach. I give myself a lot of patience and wiggle room because you have to, if you're, if you're wanting to grow and change and learn and be a better person, you have to, you have to be very patient with yourself. Um, and you have to be willing to try things and do things that are uncomfortable. And that's the whole point of the challenge. So I'm learning. Yay. <laughs> um, anyways, I've been getting a lot of messages um, and emails from people about um, how they like watching my videos and um, how they're really encouraged and inspired. And I wish you guys would freaking share publicly because I, the things that you're saying to me are incredibly motivating and I think other people would like to hear them too. And some people are even sharing personal stories and personal um, get uncomfortable challenges. So I really wish you guys would share, share, share. I mean, look at me, I'm freaking here every night recording a video. Um, so do your part, damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, share. Because, you know, we can all learn from each other and, and motivate and inspire each other. So, until tomorrow, thanks for watching.